Welcome to Fort Worth, Texas, and Amon G. Carter Stadium, home of the TCU Horned Frogs. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Houston Cougars, taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the TCU Horned Frogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. throw it on first down. Gonna try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, and you're seeing that here early. Going up top on first down. Rifles it down the middle. A strike downfield. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Horn Frog! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Picks up the first down, still moving. He's loose. The 40. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, TCU. And once he got loose, it was all over. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And we may have a situation here. We might have points. More points and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to get something, take it out. On the run, it's Payne. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Personal foul, Personal foul. foul. base base man, defense. defense. Well, that was an easy one for the officials. You can't grab a face mask like that, and it costs the defense a first down. Got it. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. The give. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Six yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. They go to the ground. Still running at the 40. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Hard Rock! No mid-season doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. Man, I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. And he can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burns, when he kicked it in here and got the long touchdown.
off the play fake on first down to throw. It falls incomplete and will change into the field to get things started back up. That's the end of the quarter, and TCU has the lead. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Now, the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. After the misfire, now on second down. It's a draw. Got enough for the first down and wants more. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Quick handoff. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The deeper into the season we get, the more they win, the greater their confidence that they can finish strong here in the Big 12. Heck yeah, Reese. The bigger the expectations get, the bigger the consequences get for every single game. So you know this league is tough. You know there's always a lot of points scored. You know there's playoff implications possibly down the road. So this team's got to continue to stay on course and continue to do what they've been doing. No doubt about it. All their goals still out ahead of them right now in play. The thing they've been really good at doing outside of just being a talented football team and showing up is that they've got their head where it needs to be every single week. Doesn't matter who they're playing. They're playing at an extremely high level, just taking it one game at a time. they got to do it again today. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, he uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Quarterback checking the play. They'll try the run. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. They will score. Touchdown, TCU. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills you look for in a big-time target. That's already his second touchdown of the game. Now on the counter. At the 35, he's loose. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. That's the beauty of misdirection in the run game, right? You try to show the defense one look, and then you come back and hit him the other way when they're not expecting it. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. They'll go to the ground. Turns it on at midfield. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. It's first and ten. They've moved it to the 41. He's going to pass. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. And that's what this defense needs to get going. You've given up a bunch of touchdowns. You haven't been great early, but now you finally get some pressure, get the quarterback to the ground. Now maybe start turning this defense around. 
He's going for a big play downfield. He's got it on the left. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice. hitting the throw, and then hauling it in. Okay. This right. offense has put on a display in the first half, and they have a chance to tack another one on before the break. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Hard Rock. Well, this is a running back who is versatile. His catching ability really helps this offense out vertically down the field. And you saw it on that play on the wheel route. That wasn't just a screen or a swing. They got him faking going to the flat, turning up the sideline for a touchdown. He'll come out throwing on first down. Moving out to the right. Wide open, he makes the catch. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. Unloads it left. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. You know, this tight end's a weapon in the passing game. He runs good routes, normally has good hands, but didn't have them there. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. On second down, he'll let it fly. Trying to get to it. Quarterback can't pull the trigger, and down he goes at the 41. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. He uncorks a bullet to the right. It's caught downfield. They finally make the stop, but that one will make those halftime stats look a little nicer as we head to the break. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one, and all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around, and now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day.
keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Hard running there. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. And he knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Now, on the set. Boots. Wide receiver now comes in motion. That one comes out hot down the right side. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, TCU. And the stomping has commenced. How about the day for this young fella? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Now they'll run it to the right here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. Maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right, things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut. Give him 96 yards on the ground, and that's just another routine day for this guy who's been among the nation's leaders in rushing all season long. The give to the back. At the 35, he's got room. Ripping through the defense. Gets enough for the first down, but not sure they'll get another playoff here in the third quarter. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, hard run! And the beatdown has ensued. They're on the board again, and it looks as if this winning streak is going to continue. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one. From the gun, running back gets the give. Nice move to pick up yardage. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. They move the tight end all over. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They'll keep it on the ground. Open 
open space at the 25. Touchdown, TCU! And the route is on. And score will give them a little more room to operate here in the fourth quarter as they go for their sixth straight win. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should... The give and tick, 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 tick. Still on his feet at the 45. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown, Hard Rock! And the punishment has been extended. With that, they are closing in on bowl eligibility, but with this big lead and a 6-0 start, much bigger dreams for this squad. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great fit. On the ground, it's pain. Got enough for the first. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Touchdown, TCU! And the pummeling has started. Now they've got a little breathing room after that score, and a week six victory is in the offing, it appears. And how about this squad, man? Looking good again. Like, I feel like we say this week in and week out, just continuing to remain undefeated. Whatever it takes, offense, defense, special teams, they have been a good unit, and that's why their ranking is...
From the shotgun, they'll run it. Made a defender miss. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Might as well give it to him again. Now, after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. They'll leave it with him. At the 45 on his way. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Man, sometimes it just gets frustrating, and you've just been beat down all day. This defense hasn't had answers, but now you can't let them run the football and just run it down your throat and be physical. This defense has to do something different and find a way to make something happen. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. And the Horned Frogs will snap it on first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And this is exactly where you're going to be as an offensive coordinator. Like, when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the run. Makes one man miss. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. The Horned Frogs have pushed it inside the 20. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. After that last loss, it's second and 12. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. I think you got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, and it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Um, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.